Hey Tina! Hi! How you doing Tina? Good, how are you? I'm doing good, just got off work this morning. <laughs> and now we're about to do this interview, celebrating one year, looking back at one year. Crazy. With however much time we have, probably 10 minutes, and okay. it's okay. Okay. Thank you for being here. Of course. Okay. Of course. I'm always here for you. Thank you. Okay, so I have a couple questions for you. Go. So, what do you think we've talked about the most this year based in like your evolution and what you've been trying to do on YouTube? Mm, oh, that's a very heavy loaded question. But uh, I, well, I think for me it's just really a matter of um, consistency. Just consist consistency. Um, oh, so early in the morning, but it's okay. I can do this. Um, I think it's just a matter of, I, I am choosing every day to keep showing up, and I think, and 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 that applies to everything in my life. But I think specifically being a YouTuber, being a content, mm -hmm. being a creator for YouTube has really helped, kind of teach me the discipline that I need to, in order for me to. Um, you know, keep showing up because I feel like, like what I was telling you earlier, that if I find myself, you know, falling off the radar and then like, yes, I mean, it's okay. There are days, there are days where, you know, I don't have to feel like doing this and that's totally okay. But, you know, still in the back of my mind that it's still something that I have to eventually get back to because then that provides me discipline, sanity, you know, I mean, especially at this point in my life now, you know, I feel like literally doing this has been a saving grace for me, you know? I, I remember you saying that, like, <clears throat> I remember you saying that it was uh, really the consistent thing in your life. So I want to ask you, when you first started YouTube, like, what did you think it would become? Oh, okay. Compared to, like, what, what happened? it's evolving into, like, right now? Okay. Thank you. Um, well, let's be honest here. <laughs> I really had a high standard for myself when I started off uh, my YouTube channel, just because I really, uh, you know, was I, I still watch these, um, you know, YouTubers, really great artists, and I think who uh, Jessica Whitaker, photographer, David Gieson, Filipino, Filipino fashion uh, blogger, vlogger, um, I've loving it, Filipina, Filipina travel vlogger. So I have all these inspirations, you know, so I couldn't help but model myself. What did you like about them? Um, what I liked about them was, well, first of all, they were being themselves and it, like every time I would watch their content, I felt like I was with them, I was their friend. So I actually met Jessica in March 2017 in a meetup that she did in LA and like I felt like I knew her already so that's so that's basically the kind of like resonance that I want to bring to my um to my people whoever you know so there was that expectation and then the reality was so so different I mean editing yeah I mean I guess I mean I mean I'm gonna be honest I think editing wise thankfully I was able to keep that you know, like I was able to have it in a professional level. So the editing matched what they offered, if not a little bit more. But then in terms of allowing myself to open up and being vulnerable and just to even record, it's like, even as I'm recording now, I feel so like, you know, and, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, that's something that I've really been making peace with that, well, it's okay. It's really okay to feel uneasy because then that's how I gauge that there's like love and passion in this because I think the moment that I start feeling not feeling anything, then I think that's when I should start getting worried, right? That I'm becoming too complacent. So it's, it's, it's basically been a process. Yeah. This whole thing has been a process. Yeah, so it sounds like like you feeling uncomfortable is like you're gauging the level of real that you're bringing. Realness, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, the level of vulnerability, the yes, level of like, that I'm connection. able. Yeah. 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 I mean, but but initially though, I did feel like I was able like I don't know what happened actually, but I, I feel like in the beginning I felt that I was since I was so much more primed and ready to do this, I was able 
Well, I left my job too, so I literally like left everything, gave up everything to do this. So I felt like I had more, like I was more primed and ready to like be more open. But then the, but then as I kept doing this, I find myself like kind of gauging now, starting to gauge back and forth between like I can I can give this much today, but then the next day maybe not as much, because I think too I've allowed this uh, experience, this journey to like, like, to to I, I've really allowed YouTube to really capture or not just capture but like witness me in, in this like transformation that i feel like oh wow it's it's an, it, it can be intense and you know that we talk about this all the time mm -hmm. but just imagine you know seeing that itself being recorded yeah so it's been so so, so it's been a journey yeah. to say the least so like like where you're at right now so it's a year. Yes. So it's a year. You've been on YouTube for a year now. That's crazy. I still can't believe it. I, ah, I know. Crap. It's 65 awful. videos later. It's crazy. So yeah. I have a question. What yes. video do you feel, if you can identify it, uh, you you maybe feel the most connected to or like the mm. one where you were really... Like myself? Yes. Um, well, let me see. I know there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, I, I think it would definitely have to be my New York travel vlog series that I just recently did. Um, I don't know why, but actually, so going to that trip, I was like, okay, I want to, the only thing I had in my head was, in my mind was, okay, I want to record as much content as I can for YouTube since I'm already making a track, invested money in this. But then the whole thing ended up like, turning such a 180 from my initial thing like things like some things fell apart some things opened up and I and all I told myself was I'm just gonna record every single day so I documented that and like and then of course to the notes that are given the, the advices that are given to me from y'all you know my viewers also the people that I you know look up to in person um, I really took that into consideration to just be myself and not be afraid to be myself and I was really surprised at how that whole thing turned out. Can you identify like a specific piece of advice that really helped you? Um, just to, well, well, for me to be myself, really. Yeah. For me to, to just be how I am and not feel like I always have to put up such a presentational, you know. I mean, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I suppose because then I, I guess I grew up a performer, as a performer, so I'm used to that. And I, and I still would like to think that I would like to carry myself in a more presentational mode. But I think, but that's the shift that started happening from actually with my YouTube is that I like in the beginning, I was like, I'm going to be this personality in a sense, like personality and a personality. But then it started really just becoming about me and all of my facets you know when did that start to happen Whew. uh and well what? right away november i feel like <laughs> november, november yeah. yeah um well because then i started like uh feeling the depths of not earning money and mm -hmm. you know so so that, that's when life started hitting me and i was like well you know i made this a goal so i'm gonna keep doing this so so then i just started rolling with it yeah yeah like surrendering to it and yes surrendering there you go so that's still also one of my ongoing practices is surrendering it's hard yeah i, I, I hate it but i love it <laughs> yes so like what is something that you uh, can you maybe say to your viewers it has been helpful for you to surrender to and what kind of advice would you give people that are having a hard time like going with their heart and mm -hmm. what they feel like they need to do in this lifetime. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, well, I would say definitely to meditate and or pray, um, you know, whichever one you want to subscribe to. But I think just really finding stillness within all of this, all of this, all of this. <laughs> so all that, you know, I think it's really going to give you the answer that you need. Um, listening to your well all of the praying and the meditation is actually going to give you the answer that you need when you finally just tune in and listen to your gut but i call it your soul gut because i truly believe that your soul i mean our soul is our soul but for me from my personal experience i feel that my soul is here is in my gut here um and that if i just really tune in and not allow this to not to chatter to overcome so much then i like 
sense this and I sense my answer and I just go from there and also the reason why I'm afraid to betray it and not listen and not listen to it is because I know I'm gonna be miserable I'm gonna be miserable you may be miserable too if you don't follow your path you know your journey your calling yes I have a question sorry to very good what was the cost for you to not follow your gut uh, what is it? YouTube. What would have oh. been the cost for you for if not following your, your gut. gut when it came to YouTube and producing and doing like this? Like if I hadn't, like what do you think I would have felt if I hadn't done this? Yes. I would have been depressed, even more depressed. Uh, um, because I, at the time I was working, uh, excuse me, at the time I was working at a mental, um, mental facility, daycare, and I mean, I, I loved it. I loved doing it, but then since I hadn't been dancing, I hadn't been expressing my creativity, you know, I was starting to really like fall out of it. Oh shit, it's okay, five minutes. Okay, so it's really starting to, you know, fall out of it and I was just like, yeah, I, I was depressed really. I was depressed to the point of suicidal thoughts, you know, it was just like kind of streaming in and out of my brain, you know, so I didn't like that feeling. Then so I thought to myself, what is the next best thing I could do after dance? Because then, you know, I didn't have it in me to continue that practice. So then YouTube came to mind because I my first love was editing. And then so I was like, well, that's something that I think I'm really good at, at least editing. So let me go back into it. And also, I think when I started, I was also at that time of my life, or at that time of my life, I was in a place where I was ready to share myself. Because I see all of these YouTubers, you know, great and horrible. And I was like, I think I'm ready to jump into that space and, and you know, claim, claim a part of that space for myself. So it sounds like you allowed yourself to, the permission mm -hmm. to be in this space and open up to your audience and explore more of maybe how you could express yourself in a different yes. type of way. Yes. Yeah. So now it's been a year. Okay. So now what excites you the most about what you're doing? Ooh. Still editing actually. <laughs> Still editing. Uh I shoot, sorry. My phone almost fell down. Still editing because Especially within the last couple of weeks, I feel like I've really been going in and out of, excuse me, I've been going in and out of deep sadness and, I'm, and I think to myself, what can I do? If there's even anything else I could do, if there's anything I can do. So for me, it's just natural for me to go into editing and I find myself like, oh, okay, I feel good. Like, I feel that editing is one of my homes, one of my homes for me. So editing, meeting new people, like, I mean, I will obviously, will be met because of YouTube, really technically, indirectly, you know, directly. So like literally for me, it's just meeting new people and, and putting myself out there, um, doing things inspired by what I'm doing, you know? So I, I, I think being a YouTuber has really, actually, no, actually, let me not say that let me being a creator for youtube has actually really inspired me then to start living to come out of my comfort zone so i have one more question yes. what has what have you felt has been the biggest support for you in mm -hmm. being able to do this thing in your life this mm -hmm. youtube creation what what is really because it sounds like you said that you've had the home of editing to go back to, which seems like it's been a support, right? Yeah. Um, what else has been like a very significant support? Because I think like people need to know that they're going to be supported or at least that they can find support in mm. whatever they are like. Refuge in what they're doing? Yes. Uh, well, initially it started off online because then obviously YouTube's online so there are people that you connect with. But then actually, then I started finding physical support <laughs> physical support through um, the San Diego YouTubers um, group that I'm a part of, which is where I'm at right now, um, or where, where it's hosted here in uh, Picture Flix. So if you're here in San Diego, 
um, consider checking out Picture Flix. This is also one of the places that I call my home. Um, yeah, like meeting. Well, how do you spell? Hold on, sorry. Ah! <laughs> It's okay. So, anywho, let me go back to my uh, train of thought. So, um, the San Diego YouTubers meetup has really been such a like a life, like a game changer for me, because then that, that happened around January, and I think if that hadn't happened, then everything else would have been different. I think it would have been a lot harder for me to keep doing this, but meeting some of my like really like most closest people to in my life right now because of this has been amazing. You know, so shout out to the San Diego YouTubers meetup. I love you all. Thank you all so much for the love you've been giving me. And also to you too, Tina. You're one of them. You know, a fr just, I just, you know, a friend. A friend, an overall friend who, you know, loves supporting people, including myself. So thank you. Um, and, and I guess I'd have to give myself the permission to, you know, say that I'm one of them too because I do feel like like at this point, I just had to keep on going because if I feel like if I fail at this, then there's no, you know, no going back. So. So I know I said I had one more question. Yes. I actually have one more question. Yes. Okay. One more question. So, okay. Goals and yes. aspirations moving forward. Yes. From here. What are okay. they? Okay. Um, yes. So more, more realness, more community, more connecting, more going deep and depth. I think just being more bold. Because I think that's really the direction that I wanted to go in the first place is to start talking about things that people that that we always think about or I always feel and think about but no one ever really talks about and also trying more new experiences that really kind of shake me up. So awesome. Think, so yeah. your viewers can expect to see more entertainment, more realness, more hot messes, but you know what, that's my brand, so yes. So I think that'll be it. Okay, so let me do my closing. Hold on. So oh, okay. So first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to my friend Tina behind the camera for really helping helping me do this, helping facilitate this uh, moment. Really appreciate it. And also thank you for watching this video and really thank you for um being there for me since the very beginning or you know wherever you may have joined in this journey um just I, I just really want you to know that i really don't take you all for granted because like everyone because you all are the ones that i'm really getting the strength for me to continue for me to keep going so whew, okay not really the time to get emotional but i'm just really 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 thankful for every single one of you and you know who you are so um well please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all very much and happy one year to all of us